Great talking to my next guest, Diego Ferreira, who's got a big fight coming up here against Drew Dober at UFC Fight Night on November 7th. Diego, what's up, man? How's it going? Thanks, James. Doing, doing great, doing great. Just, uh, you know, keeping the energy going, uh, keeping the work and the grind, and I was doing doing more than better. Yes, well, that, that's great to hear. Uh, I'm so glad to see this fight was rebooked because I know some of the fights with COVID that were canceled, they didn't get rebooked. Um, you know, sometimes yeah. you get a different opponent. Um, how happy are you just to have this fight intact? Because for the rankings, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, it's, it's good for me, you know, like, and after, like, all this, it, it's it's been a crazy year for me, you know, with all this. It's, I think, I've been affecting me the most, but uh, I'm glad Right now, we're still having a fight, and then, you know, I just move on and looking forward for for, for November 7. Yeah, you, you mentioned uh, it being a tough year. It, it is for everyone. Um, how did COVID-19 impact you? I know for a lot of the fighters, they couldn't train. I know you're a gym owner. Like, how have things been since COVID-19? Uh, it's been kind of hard, you know. Don't affect me just uh, uh, outside um of of uh, of uh, my career, but affected really my personal life a lot. But um, it's it's things sometimes that for myself personally, I live in God's hands, you know. And things like we cannot be in control, you know. But it affect me pretty pretty hard. I kind of say that, you know. And but uh, you know, I just keep my heads up and move forward and see 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 what's gonna be bring the what's gonna be in the best on this year for me, you know. And He's still, you know, I'm still a positive, you know, to 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 have a good things on, on the front of me. That's a great attitude, and uh, you're coming off a really great win in your last fight. I mean, uh, a lot of people want to fight Anthony Pettis, but to go out there and submit him, a guy that's pretty tough to submit, you must have been so happy with that victory, uh, you know, getting that one over a former UFC champion. Yeah, yeah, I, I like how uh, how I tell, told everybody. I was a big fan of Anthony. I'm still a big fan of Anthony Pettis, you know. Them, he have so much uh, uh, active on his life, you know, like especially on his life, on the you know WC, you know, champ, and and he's still UFC champ at one fifty five, you know, one my division, and them fighting hand, it's it was like pretty incredible for me, and I was happy to achieve what I did, you know. Yeah, and it certainly lined up this other big fight against uh, Drew Dober, another ranked guy. Uh, how do you feel like you match up against him here? Because this has got fight of the night written all over it, in my opinion. Dan, I, I, I'm excited now. Um, I've been watching Do- uh, Dober for a long time. When he fought my, my, one of my teammates, uh, Sean Spencer, I know he uh, he been in UFC for for a little bit more while than me, but uh, uh, it's it's exciting now. I've been while looking his all his fight from. Way back then, like when I, I see him like fighting with my friend, and I start following him like on a, uh, on his career, and he was doing great, doing awesome, you know. But uh, but I think it's gonna be a really good fight for 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 us because we we know each other's weakness, and I think like it, it's it's this is gonna be great, you know, for all, both of us. Yeah, no, uh, really looking forward to this one. Uh, now, how's training camp looking ahead of this fight? Because uh, again, I know with COVID, there's a lot of restrictions right now. Yeah, it's been pretty hard, you know. Like, imagine, like, before you used to have, like, to 20 to 15 people to help you out. Now it's just three, you know, three of us. And, and, and it's been pretty hard for me. It's, it's been kind of real difficult. Uh, uh, but, uh, hey, I'm, I'm doing my best, you know. I'm putting my work, putting my, uh, my uh, motivations every day for myself. And, you know, it's just moving forward and try – Make the best what what I can, you know, for 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 this fight, and I, I'm really excited to to go there and represent where I where I'm from. So you mentioned a smaller group. Are are you not training at Fortis for this camp? Because I know that's a long drive for you to to drive down there, and it, it's sort of a process. And I imagine with COVID, it's probably a little bit tougher. It is a little bit tougher, you know. It's been a little bit tougher. That's one of the most things. And and right now, I'm doing the most of my camp in uh, like on my own gym, mm-hmm. you know. And my friends like come down and train with me, uh, uh, the most close. And I know those gonna be uh, real cautious too with with uh, what I have in front of me. You know, mm-hmm. uh, they 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 really save the personal life. You know, especially not going out, or going doing things they they normally used to do. Uh, but they put their own time with me, and and, and it's it's 
it's been hard, but it's been like you see who who's gonna be you you real friend, you know, to see you successful, like to to reach you your dream, you know, been there yeah. for you in this hard times. Yeah, like you said it perfectly. You know, during hard times is when you see who your true friends are, right? And so you know you're exactly. going through something, so it's good to see those people stepping up. So who are you getting to train with? You mentioned the the three people you get to work with. Who are your training partners? Uh, I have a, a like Victor Martinez. I, I uh, um. Right now, I have a, a Ruben Garcia now, and they they really been putting the work with me. I have a couple, all of my students too. You know, uh, they they really putting the work to to do a lot of grappling, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, rounds of Muay Thai, a lot of rounds in boxing, and we ha- I, I have a, a a lot of people to help me out. But but those three is the most like been real consistent in this camp and been really you know putting put in the best they can for for me to to really we can we can go and reach the the reach the goal i need for the for this for this uh for this fight have you been talking to coach safe though like doing like zoom calls or anything or checking yeah in on him? I, I i every training every section i do i have to send the video you know <laughs> right to, and then it, it's it's kind of hard because he's busy over there too you know as a complete send and but he give me like a lot of opinions a lot of uh a lot of uh, directions and i listen a lot of on what what he have to tell me you know what he have to say and i'm try following his his uh uh you strict uh, directions you know you know coach <laughs> of course yeah no he sets he sets a high standard right so at least now he can yeah. tell you you're not doing a good job from like miles away as opposed to up close <laughs> right so that's probably yeah, a little bit better you, yeah you, it's no corner uh no corner to corner you know you can cut off the corner it's like straight with the line with him yeah and that's what i i i really love what about him because he he really put that direction and, and i really have to follow it. and it's always working you know? i been working six fights straight, like six wins you know strict and and i can't say anything <laughs> yeah no that's uh that's good to hear how about the weight cut how's that going ahead of this fight uh, it's been pretty good. I'm kind of a little bit ahead, you know. I'm glad of this, and, and you know, it's 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 gonna be a, a easy way cut, and uh, I'm really excited, you know. Very good. Uh, who's gonna be in your corner for this fight? Oh, uh, this is the coach safe, and exactly way I say I have a Robin Garcia like helping me out, and we're gonna be all three of us on the corner. Uh, I have another teammate who's gonna fight on the same night, and. Uh, uh, Ramez, you know. Oh, of course, uh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, you know, we're gonna be in the same the same car, and uh, we're gonna be together. We're gonna be re- representing, putting all work, putting our show, and I'm really excited just to see him, you know, having his uh, his first fight on the same car because he always been telling me the same like the same thing like every time we train together, we're gonna be fighting one day in the same car on the same car, and and this make me like you know. Be happy, excited for him too, you know, and and it make me more uh, uh, focused to represent or what like our gym, you know, and and I, I'm super excited for that. Very cool. Speaking of your gym, um, you got Miles Johns fighting a week before, I think, right on Halloween, and then uh, we just had. I got to talk about Damon Jackson. How cool is it seeing get uh, him get that big win a couple weeks ago? Because um, it's been a long time coming for him getting his first UFC victory. Yeah, it's it's one thing like uh, one thing like really get me excited when I see my teammates uh, uh, win, you know. Like especially uh, James Jackson been having really hard time during the the, the career in the UFC, and he just stepping inside the short notice, you know, uh, and a good fight for him, and he got the finishing. He still got the bonus of the night, and wow, it's it's something make me real happy to see that like that. It, it, it's it's an incredible feeling, you know, because we've been putting together. He helped me out in so many camps, you know. You know, it, it just let you know, like just just make clear. I learned a lot of hand too, you know, like the mm-hmm. the kick up, you know, the the back take with the kick off of the cage was hand teaching me, you know, like all his skills, and 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 work his his technique with me. And see he doing what he did this uh, uh, for for his uh, debut on his uh, on the UFC again back again. I was put excited. Now I get excited just talking about. You know I get super excited just talking about him. And then you know Miles uh, Miles is one of those guys coming up right there. And 
you know, it just make me excited every single time to see this guy's fighting. Very cool. Uh, how's this fight playing out on November 7th? Uh, I, I don't think this will go to the judges' scorecards. I don't think so, too, you know. Like, we're we going to put all our work, you know. Um, and uh, we always – we have to be prepared for everything, for each other. We have, think we have to prepare, like, to ground, to, you know, stand up. And the wrestling, I think it's, it's going to be wild, you know. I think, like, I, for my part, what I have to say, if he say he's going to be technical, I don't believe it because i got to be wild, you know. i going to be there to put my show, put my, uh, my work. Because it's is a fight I really get excited just to talking about it, and you no, know, see, see I, I I don't promise like I, I don't promise anything, but I think it's gonna be you know a fight of the night, and that's what I wanted. I know uh, you still got to get past Drew Dober on November seventh, but if you get a win here, uh, dare I say you might have the most underrated winning streak in the lightweight division. This has got to propel you high up in the rankings, I would think, if you get the win here, because you just took out a former UFC champion. If you take out another guy, a ranked guy in Drew Dober, where do you see yourself? Do you see bigger fights from here on out just with you know the winning streak you've been on right now? I, I, that's the way I said. I see. I have a, some names. I don't want to just... Look. You know, yeah, I wanna, save, save it for after the fight. Yeah, exactly. After the fight, but I have some names, and a lot of people been telling me to fight this guy, this guy. But uh, I have some names that would in mind, you know. And I, my 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 main focus right now is on Dober, you yeah, know, hundred percent. Yeah. After that, like I really gotta look for two names. Yeah, I have these two names. I'm saving, you know. I just need first to get through this one, and then I gotta get this this two fights next one, and I really think we're gonna gonna go for the title shot yes it's get, certainly getting closer there speaking of the title um michael chandler just got signed to the ufc what do you think of his addition to you uh the 155 pound weight class <laughs> to be clear to be to be uh you know with everything i don't like it because chandler is supposed to fight under like under us and mm-hmm. he would jump in on the front of us i think it's not fair for those those fighting uh, for a long time in the UFC and just just hitting the top five right now. And I, I, I'm talking about myself, you mm-hmm. know, and he jump in and what in front of us. I think it's a little bit of due respect for all of us, you know. And uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really like, don't like just just what he, he tried to be on the top of us. Right. I see what you mean. Yeah. Being a backup, he doesn't have a single UFC fight. Um, is that a matchup that would interest you down the line? Or are you looking at guys that are actually ranked right now? For, for sure, as a, a match, it's really interesting to me. You know? It's because I really don't like the way the way they everything go, especially jumping in front of us. That, that's what I got to put it. I got to put it like that. I don't like it. And as one match, it really interested myself to, to get it. We're looking forward to your fight, though. UFC Fight Night, November 7th. Uh, Diego, always great catching up with you, man. I really appreciate the time. Uh, just remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you have any sponsors or shout-outs, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you very much, James. I appreciate it. Uh, my sponsors are Vitamin Check, you know, uh, cross, uh, uh, Groundbreaker, uh, Misfit, Rocco, all, all those guys been helping me out, you know. And uh, uh, a shout-out for my coach, and uh, uh, my coach safe, my coach Rick, and all my 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 team right now helping me out. Victor, uh, Ruben, all those guys, and my team from my 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 own gym. And I appreciate you guys what you guys are doing for me, you know. And I'm really excited. I appreciate James to open the the, the uh, open up uh, the space so we can you know talk about a little bit of my for for my next fight. And don't forget, guys, um, November seven. I'll be getting in the cage again, you know, against uh, Dude Dober, you know, ESPN, uh, ESPN Plus. Don't forget, you know, and can check me out and all what my work on uh, UFC TX. You can guys can follow me up on on my uh, on my social media. <laughs>